Stephanie Hill, thank you. The push continues to bring a zoo to North Alabama tonight. The North Alabama Zoological Society has really embarked on many fundraising efforts to try to bring one to the region. For the past several years, the project's proposal has run into stumbling blocks in trying to secure exactly where the initial funding will be coming from. News 19's Archie Snow has the latest on what the nonprofit wants to do to secure funding for the project. Well, thank you, Tamika. Limestone County residents paid a 1% tax on their Athens utility bill to pay off a 20 year county bond for the Limestone County Jail. Now, the Zoological Society is looking to emulate that plan. In March, the North Alabama Zoological Society announced a partnership with Limestone County leaders to develop a comprehensive funding proposal for the first phase of a zoo project with plans to move forward. The question from Limestone County decision makers is where the money is coming from. NAL's executive director, Ethan Woodruff, says that the goal is to fund the project through public donations, but the price tag of an estimated $65 million has been hard to reach. With the attempt to raise money through donations and grants has hit a snag, Woodruff is hopeful that the county commission will add a 3% monthly electric tax to all Athens Utilities customers. Woodruff explains what this all means for the taxpayers. The 3% tax is a maximum limit set so that um, it's, a, it's, it's a safety for the, for the citizen to make sure that the elected officials don't go beyond what uh, they're saying they're going to do with the, with the money. Woodruff says the money raised will go towards education activities and community initiatives through the zoo. That will be decided once there is a, uh, um, the bond has been uh, procured and, and, and all the repayment options have been settled out and then they'll figure out what the actual percentage is. Woodruff says he's used a social media campaign to present his plan to the public. It's allowed us to hear some of their concerns and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, right now, we're taking those concerns and modifying that proposal, so it'll actually be a lot better. Now, the Zoological Society has conducted their own research aiming to minimize the financial burden on taxpayers of Limestone County while trying to follow the model of how zoos in other states have started. 